Hello, this is Paul Gabry for another installment of Ask ZBrush. So we had the question sent in to us. Using ZBrush for illustration, how can we create and save camera views to render from within ZBrush? So there is a very simple way to do this. We have a model in edit mode right now. And what I want to do is be able to have various views that I can go through for rendering. So all we need to do is go to the movie palette and open up our timeline menu and then click on show. What this is going to do is turn on the timeline right here above our ZBrush document and what's great is we're going to be able to use this as different camera views. So maybe I'll go here and make a dot. Maybe I want to want to do a render uh, a little more up close. I can make a dot. Maybe I want it from a completely different angle to make a dot. So what this is allowing us to do is use the timeline itself as a way to store different views. So not just as kind of bringing art to life, but allowing me to cycle through the various camera shots that I want. So what I can do now is use my left and right arrow keys to actually jump between the dots. So you can see up here when I go to my left arrow key, it automatically jumps to the next dot or keyframe. And when I hit it again, it goes to the next one. And as I go back to the right, it does the same thing. And that's a really simple way to store multiple camera views along the timeline. So what you also want to be aware of, in order to save this out and so that all these keyframes along the timeline are saved you are going to want to save a project. So you're going to go to File and hit our Save As button here, which you can see the shortcut is Control S. And when you save this project, it's going to save the model, the position is in the document, but more important, it's going to save the timeline with the keyframes that we made for our different camera views. Now, if I go over here and save as a tool, this timeline will not be saved with that and you'll lose all your views that you've taken the time to find. Also take note though in the movie timeline section you can actually save and load a timeline individually. And that's how you can do multiple camera views with inside ZBrush using the feature timeline. Thank you and please continue to send in your questions on our Twitter using the hashtag AskZBrush.